Hello there. Today I'm going to show you a few techniques that you can do with your walking cane in order to use it as a self-defense tool. Now remember you should always practice this before you go out and actually try it. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to learn is how far it is that your cane can reach from the different direction that you're standing. For example, if you were to put your cane on this side, you'll notice that I'm about 12 inches away from the end of my cane. Now if I were to put it in front of me, it's a lot further and then even further more from this side so that's very important and you need to learn the zone within your cane now this is important to know because within that zone I call it both the safety and strike zone if there's nobody in this zone then you're pretty much safe from getting punched or kicked but if somebody actually happens to step within that zone they're probably in your striking zone. Now, you can also extend out your striking zone a little bit further. Now, if I hold out my cane like this, you'll notice that I can only go so far. But if I take a step, I have another foot or two to reach. Just depends on how far you can step. So another technique that you wanna learn is how to use your cane to hook things. Um, you can hook like limbs, for example, the hands, the arms, the elbows, the foot, the ankles, the knee, the leg, uh, the neck, even, you know, certain areas here. Um, basically, what I like to do is hold the cane straight down like this with the hook facing downward. That way, if I need to adjust, I can just flip my hand over, wrist over, and now I have a hooking cane that can hook from the inside. Um, if I'm hitting this direction, um, I can then hook from the outside and also use that as a hook. Going from the under, I can also do the under hook like this. And going from up on top, I should be able to then hook downward. So this allows me to control which direction my hook is headed. Another technique that you should practice is using it as a pull stick. So basically, you have one hand that's out in front of you, and you take advantage of the handle placing your hand behind it, and you should be able to then push forward with your back hand. The front hand actually will guide your cane, whether it's up, low, left, or right. You should then be able to hit your target precisely. Another technique that you need to practice is to use it as a blocking tool. Um, you can put your grip like this, so that would be like you would split it up into a third and then you notice where I put my hands. You can block, block, different direction. Uh, if you slide your hand down further, you can now block it with the ends of the, of the uh, cane, like this. Uh, if you decide that you want to make it a little bit more fancy, you can just twirl it in the middle, like this, which really doesn't serve anything except for, um, you know, being fancy or something like that. So these are a few techniques that you should practice with your walking cane in order to make that a useful martial art tool. So hopefully you learned something today. Appreciate your time. Stay safe out there. Thank you.